BRAF mutant tumor uh, in colon cancer is a subset of patient population, which is about 5 to 10 percent. We know that patients with the BRAF mutant uh, tend to have poor prognosis. Uh, they tend to be right-sided uh, with a more peritoneal involvement. They tend to be female and older age. We also know that most commonly the V600E mutation occurs about 90 percent of the time. What we know so far from the data is that a patient with BRAF mutant tumor tends to have poor prognosis. Unlike the patient with BRAF wild type, their life expectancy is only anywhere from 9 to 14 months versus some patients who are BRAF wild type where they live up to 2 to 3 years. Therefore, these are the patients that we don't have a lot of time to give fourth, fifth line therapy. Usually you get a shot at first, second line uh, at the beginning. Therefore, we need to come up with a better aggressive approach uh, to treat those patients. Therefore, now in 2019, we have targeted drugs that actually targets the, the BRAP pathway. In the past, there has been a lot of robust data in melanoma and other diseases in, pa in the patient with BRAP mutant tumors, where if you give a BRAP inhibitor by itself, it seems to have a very, uh, a very um, strong efficacy in terms of response rate, overall survival, and PFS. However, in colon cancer, when they try to study this with a single agent BRAF inhibitor, such as, such as um, vimirafenib, the response rate was very low, less than 5%, with a modest PFS and overall survival. And the reason for that is that patients with colon cancers, if you block the BRAF inhibitor, there's a feedback loop that actually stimulates the EGFR pathway. Therefore, what happens is that by doing that, you're actually reactivating the MAP kinase pathway, therefore making the BRAF inhibitor a single agent not work be ineffective. Therefore, in colon cancer, you have to block not only the BRAP pathway, but also the EGFR pathway as well for that pathway to work. Not only that, we could take one step further by blocking another pathway, not only blocking EGFR, the BRAF, but the MEC pathway to see if that, if that combination of triplet has more efficacy in colon cancer.